Today, we are doing a deep dive into WordPress versus Show It. Both are solid website platforms that give you a ton of control over the design of your site. But depending on your needs and skills, one might be better for you and your business over the other. So after my last video where I discussed what a show website was, I get a lot of emails asking for more details regarding show it versus WordPress. How are they different? How does a WordPress drag and drop page builder like Elementor or Divi differ from show it? And since show it uses WordPress for blogging, do I need to pay for hosting for the blog? So in this video, I am clearing up the confusion and breaking down seven big differences between the two platforms. We are going to be comparing ease of use, customization abilities, mobile responsiveness, monetization, e-commerce, blogging, support, and price. Here we go. to the channel, Maureen here from thecreativeimpact.com, where I help creative entrepreneurs, coaches, and bloggers with strategic website design, templates, and business trainings so that they can stand out, sell more, and stress way less about the design and tech in their business. If this sounds like information that you are interested in, then hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of the videos I post on this channel each and every week. Okay. So let's kick things off. I'm comparing WordPress versus show it in seven different categories. And the first category that we are tackling is ease of use. So let's, let's start with show it. Show it is a drag and drop website platform that provides total creative freedom over the layout and design of your website, all without a single line of code. It's, it's really created with the skills and the needs of beginners in mind. The big appeal of Show It is truly how simple it is to design in. You can literally click anything and drag and drop things exactly where you want them. There are no column or margin restrictions like there are in WordPress page builders like Elementor or Divi, which makes it a lot less restrictive and easier to use for non-techie people. It's also way easier to customize a website template like this in Show It rather than a template from WordPress. You can take anything and move pictures around wherever you want them. You can resize them, very user-friendly. So Show It was originally created for photographers, but it has quickly grown in popularity with creative entrepreneurs of all types, bloggers, coaches, small business owners, et cetera. Now, as you, with using any website platform for the first time, there is going to be a slight learning curve to familiarize yourself with the layout and where the tools are and things like that. But the learning curve is significantly less steep in Show It than if you're designing a website in WordPress. Now let's talk about WordPress, and we're specifically talking about WordPress.org. There is a difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. If you're building a business or a blogging business or any type of thing like that, you're going to want to be on WordPress.org. So that's what we're discussing. And WordPress.org, is a, it's a free and open source website creation platform. In, in more technical terms, it's a content management system which basically means you have complete control over what happens in the back end where changes are made and in the front end that is visible to the viewer. Now, WordPress does have drag and drop WordPress page builders. Like I'm sure you've heard of Elementor and Divi. They have themes like Cadence, which offer templates. So you don't have to start from scratch or use code necessarily, but even with a WordPress template and step-by-step -step video instruction, I have found that several of my students who are not design or tech skilled have still been overwhelmed with the learning curve associated with WordPress. In the WordPress editor, you are bound to rows and specific columns, so you can't just slide things over uh, where you want to put them like you can and show it. You have to work in the size, work with image dimensions, work with margins. So it is a little bit more tech intensive. Having worked in both platforms, I can confidently say that show it is a much more user-friendly platform to design in for beginners, non-designers, tech challenge, like 
along those lines. So the winner for ease of use goes to show it. Now let's talk about customization. Show it does have a ton of great customization options. It's very easy to get your site looking exactly how you want it to look, but it is hard to beat WordPress when it comes to customization overall, because due to WordPress's popularity, many companies and online software programs just integrate seamlessly with WordPress. You want it, you can pretty much get it when designing in WordPress. Since Show It uses WordPress for blogging though, the Show It, the Show it Basic blog plan has pre-installed plugins and the advanced plan allows you to install custom plugins for WordPress that gives you more customization options. But overall, Show It does not compare to all the powerful integration options available when using WordPress exclusively. Most creative entrepreneurs who are running small businesses don't need many, if any highly specific customizations that WordPress offers, but designing in WordPress does put a lot more features at your fingertips. So the customization winner definitely goes to WordPress. Next up is mobile responsiveness. Now, according to Statistica in 2022, 58.99% of the global website traffic comes from mobile devices. So it's incredibly important that your website is mobile responsive. This means that it looks good across all cell phones and tablets as well as desktop, okay? So both WordPress and Show It, they do allow you to design in detail for mobile responsiveness. When you are designing your site via the desktop view on WordPress, it automatically creates the same version on mobile, which seems convenient, but when you take this desktop view and squish it into a tablet or a mobile view, it's likely not going to look quite right at first. So for example, if I go to uh, a website view of this, you can see that when it squishes it, it looks something like this, okay? And, and it's very hard to read. So what I would need to do is there are tools in the menu bar to adjust this look based on the tablet and mobile, but you have to play around with sizing and padding issues. And if you change sizes on mobile, it affects the desktop image as well. So there, there are some extra steps that have to be done when making your website mobile responsive on WordPress. A very unique feature of Show It is that there is a mobile side of design and a desktop side of design. And the two just don't automatically communicate with each other, which is a really good thing. And in Show It, you can see these side by side by clicking the desktop and the, the tablet view here, the cell phone view. So you can, you can actually edit them side by side. And the fact that they don't automatically communicate with each other is really good because you can change the size, position, and layout of items on the mobile side. Like I can switch the size of this picture in the mobile, but it's not gonna change the size of the picture over here. I can even move it over here and it's not gonna move it on desktop like it would in WordPress. Whatever you change on WordPress in one is gonna change it on the other. So this is a really unique feature of Show It. You can make your mobile site looking exactly the way you want it because sometimes going from a desktop to a tablet or a phone, it doesn't look right when you try to smush everything down. So I love the unique ability to change things separately from mobile to desktop. Again, having worked with both of these platforms, Show It and WordPress, I have found that the mobile responsive design in Show It gives you so much more freedom to design for a strategic and stunning mobile site. And it's way easier to configure for beginners. So therefore in my book, the winner of mobile responsive design goes to Show It. Now let's talk about monetization and e-commerce. One thing Show It does not have is a built-in e-commerce platform. This does not mean though that you can't, can't sell on Show It. I am able to sell all my templates, my courses, and my coaching on my Show It website with Thrivecart as my checkout platform. You can also link your buttons to any other checkout software you use like Sendout or Samcart or Teachable or convert kit commerce and you know so on and so on. However, if you are strictly setting up an e-commerce site, other platforms like WordPress are gonna be better suited for exclusive e-commerce. This is gonna allow you to create uh, multiple product pages without customizing them individually like you have to do on Show It. 
So if you have more than 20 products that you sell or plan to sell on your site, you will likely want them on something like an e-commerce site like Shopify or Shopify Lite or WooCommerce. If you really like the design capabilities of Show It though, you can combine your Show It website with e-commerce platforms like Shopify to get the best of both worlds. Now, I will put a link with more information about this below. I'm not getting into that today, but check out the link for how that works in the show notes below. Okay, so that takes care of the Show It side. But now on the other hand, with WordPress, you can launch a web store right on your site by means of the e-commerce plugin integrations. The most well-known WordPress shopping cart plugin is WooCommerce, which is free when you're using its most basic version. So in summary, both platforms allow you to monetize your site, but since creating an e-commerce store and integrating it with Show It is not as easy, if you want to sell a ton of products and have an e-commerce site, the category for this goes to WordPress. Now let's move on to blogging. If you are a blogger or you have a blog or you want to start a blog to draw people into your business, which is better, WordPress versus Show It? Well, here's the great news. Both of these website platforms use WordPress for blogging. So this one is a draw. WordPress is without a doubt the best blogging platform. And if you blog on Show It, you're actually using WordPress to write your blog posts. You don't have to, one of the questions was about hosting. You don't have to pay for hosting or anything like that to blog on WordPress because in your price of Show It, Show It takes care of that for you. It's included in the monthly price. So you get the SEO benefits that only WordPress could offer for blogging with that ease of the drag and drop editor and Show It. So it's a win-win. And this is what exclusively separates Show It from platforms like Squarespace, Wix, and things like that. So for blogging, it's a draw because WordPress, you can use it for um, WordPress for your design and your blog and show it you use for your design, but you use WordPress for blogging. So it's a draw. All right, moving on to the next category, which is support. Now this one is easy. When it comes to customer support, show it takes the cake. WordPress, as you may or may not know, unfortunately does not have official support. However, many hosting providers, whoever you decide to go through, they're usually knowledgeable in WordPress and they usually have 24 hour support. Bluehost and SiteGround are two beginner hosting providers that are both known for their WordPress support if you run into trouble. I've used both of these and I've had great experiences. There are also numerous unofficial WordPress.org tutorials and communities on the web as well, but you, you have to search them out. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, Show It offers a, a ton of support. Show It has a dedicated help center with access to complimentary customer support. They have, uh, you can send a message over here. They have a chat depending on if you're online at the time uh, of their office hours, but you can see, you can search for help. You can send a message, usual reply time says a day. They also have tons of different help documents that you can go through. And if your website is down, um, you can let them know ASAP. That's for submitting an emergency. So the clear winner for support is Show It. Okay, we have arrived at our last category for today. And it's one that you've likely been wondering about, and that is price. So Let's start with WordPress. WordPress.org is open source software that is completely free to use, but you must purchase hosting and a domain name. So shared hosting, when you're looking into it, can range anywhere from about $2.75 $2 to $45 per month, depending on the length of time you're purchasing hosting for, the plan you choose, what host you go with. And as you grow your business and you grow out of shared hosting, because you maybe need something faster to host all your files or info on your site, the cost will go up from there. Now, typically most people can get good hosting that meets their beginner needs at a price ranging typically around three to $6 per month to start out. And again, the two self-hosting providers that I personally recommend have used are Bluehost and SiteGround. Show It, on the other hand, is 
is more expensive, it's more expensive at face value, but more affordable long term. So the website builder offers a 14 day free trial, and then there are three subscription tiers after that. And within these subscription tiers, all of your hosting is included. All you have to do is purchase your domain name. If you are just interested in a website without a blog, then show it is $19 per month billed annually. So it'll be $228. They also, if you want the monthly plans to play monthly, you can see that they're going to go up a little bit more. So you get the discount if you go with the annual billing. The second pricing tier is if you have a blog, this is great, especially if you're just getting started, you want to start a blog or you have a basic blog, it's going to let you migrate um, 50 or less posts from WordPress. They do this all for you. And it also comes with their pre-installed plugins. So that's $24 a month uh, or $288 billed annually. And lastly, they have the Show It Plus Advanced blog. This is great if you want more customization with um, those custom plugins. This is what I use. This is $34 a month or for $108 billed annually. This is great if you already have a blog with tons of blog posts uh, from WordPress or Squarespace. Again, they transfer all, they handle all this for you. Comes with uh, the ability to install any custom plugins that you want for WordPress. And it's really great for SEO. So you can browse through these. And again, there's also that 14 day free trial. If you're interested, I will put a link in the show notes below for that. So the winner of price really depends on your needs. WordPress.org is free and hosting will cost about three to $6 in that range when you're just starting out until you may need to upgrade for uh, speed or growth reasons. Once you do that, then the cost will be right around the same price, if not a little bit more than show it. Now, if you're pretty good with tech and design, you might be best starting with WordPress. If not, sometimes the cost associated with getting help to build your site might end up costing you more in the long run. If you're still not sure if you know, which platform's best, make sure to check out my free show it flow chart to see if show it's right for you and your business. You can click the link in the show notes below, or you can go to the creativeimpact.com forward slash flow chart to get access to this. Okay. We have now compared WordPress versus show it in seven different areas, including ease of use, the customization, uh, mobile responsiveness, the e-commerce, blogging, support, and price. I hope you now have a better idea of which one will be best for you and your business. If you feel that Show It is the right fit for you, get on the wait list for my new Show It template shop coming in mid-October 2022. These will be plug and play, pre-made, stunning and strategic website templates created by me that will also include step-by-step -step video tutorials that will allow you to get your site up and running in days, not months. You'll also get exclusive updates and some sneak peeks, peeks of what I'm working on. And you might even get a chance to get the templates early and at a special discount, hint, hint. So get on the wait list now by going to thecreativeimpact.com forward slash template waitlist. I'll put it in the show notes as well. That's it for today. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.